be me. Sergeant Yuri of the Valhallen 545th Armored. The tear in the sky has gotten bigger. The warp's influence on this forge world has only increased as time goes on. Giant wiggling biomechanical tentacles are sprouting up on the horizon. The smell of smog and smoke is being replaced with a stench of sweat and musk. More of those skin archaeopters are visible flying overhead and deploying more corrupt skaterii. The demonette hordes have gotten worse. More dead chaos skaterii are rising. I don't know what their bodies are trying to make, but all my efforts are focused on blasting them apart before that happens. We've lost some castellans and lemon russes. I don't know how much longer we can hold out, or how long it will take the Indomitus Crusade to reach us. We're going to need a miracle to get out of this one alive. The Archmagos Explorator Prime. The green skins have taken the bait. Stupid Xenus Imperium now I just need to angle my arc and away to get the orcs to ram their half moon in the direction of the rift. I have no idea if this will actually close the rift, but it should at least stop anything from getting out. Hope the Indomitus Crusade gets here soon. On my mark. Fire all directional thrusters. Issue another challenge to the captain of the half moon once my arc is in position in front of the rift. B trooper captain. Somehow situation got worse. More demonets. More chaos skaterii and it got musky. Fucking you. As I drag Sasha to safety I have to stop occasionally to open fire on incoming enemies. Eventually arrive at a medic to which I drop her off at. I grip my last gun hard and charge out back to the lines being overwhelmed. Open fire upon the demonets. Wonder if space marines will deploy in order to assist us. Just got to hope that it isn't one of those super secret ones that don't like being documented. Be Colonel Farragut of the Imperial Post. A trooper kindly pointed out the commanding officer. Now I have someone to sign these delivery papers for the post. Good thing too. Things are starting to look a lot more chaosy around here. Wait. He looks like a sergeant. Whatever. Guess I'll count on Co as highest ranking. About to walk over and introduce myself when I suddenly come under fire. It's coming from inside the formation. From some fucking felinids. Aren't they friendly? Why are they shooting at me and no one else? Take cover behind the land raider I arrived in what the fuck do those idiots think they're doing? There's cyclonic torpedoes here. Fuck it. If they want to fight I'll give them a fight yell at a couple troopers to grab those phosphex guns we're supposed to be delivering I don't fucking care if they're illegal get them over here. B trooper captain. Firing upon the demonets. Any that get too close get a bayonet or metal fist to the face. My transfer to a different regiment with the use I'm getting out of my metal arm praying to the emperor in my head that he sends a solution. Anything will do. Punch another demonette in the face and blast her with my laskin. Emperor's teeth could it get any worse. I'm going to punch whoever made that rift in the sky to begin with I really hate fighting chaos when it's basically almost on its turf. Demons just come in big waves only upside is depending on what it is it takes longer to come back. I hear something coming from above. I look up to see space marine drop pods they come down fast and land in the back lines of where the demonettes come from brown armor with red trim and their icon is some kind of animal. They burst out of the drop pods and begin to open fire with holy bolters. One of them fires a rocket to a horde of demonettes taking them out. Another device drops from the sky. Lands in the middle of a horde. It blinks yellow for a few seconds before several squads of terminators with lighting claws emerge from lighting led by what I can only assume is the commander using a curve relic blade and combi melts. I hear him yell the following. Let loose your bolters and claws brothers. Let no demon survive the wrath of the hyenas. For the Khan. For the angel and for the emperor. He then opens fire with his combi melter. He melts a fiend of slanesh and it screams back into the warp as it does. Thank you emperor for answering my prayers. B chapter master Jegex and Gek of the Hyena Space Marines chapter. We arrived at the system and learned what we could from various scrabbled vox reports old Hyena Kumbich could smell the stench of corruption from space. So we decided to attack. Now we are on this forge world which is slowly becoming a demonic one. My battle brothers are descending from the skies and drop pods. 
teleport homers and storm raven gunships. I slash at the demonic horde with my relic blade scavengers regards and fire upon them with my combi melter giant's mockery. The horde grows somewhat desperate due to our arrival. They thought they'd only be getting shot at by Valhallans. Ha ah, the adepts of Slanish truly are fools. Soon we'll deploy our vehicle units, including our relic javelin attack speeder, the Ardwolf I grin under my helmet as I slay another fiend and its companions. Librarian Colgan Nergi unleashes bolts of thunder down at the demons as he is joined by Chaplin Kunbish Dogshin who smacks the demonettes with his crozius when they get close. I just hope we can get these Valhallans off of this planet just in case the rift proves incapable of being closed or if this world fully becomes a demon world. B Sergeant Yuri. Finally some good fracking news. The space marines have arrived and are decimating the demonettes. Phrasing heresy have no idea what chapter they're from and I don't care. They have a brown color scheme which is kind of odd given most SM go for bright colors but whatever. After they deal with the current horde or demonettes and chaos Kateri I was about to go and greet their chapter master when suddenly we hear a loud roar. What is it now heresy I knight abominant round the street corner and starts charging towards us. I'm not even surprised at this point. Open fire. Be Jegex and Gik. As we cleave the horde suddenly a knight abominant rounds the corner and begins a charge well then that wasn't something we saw when teleporting or drop podding in. Mark it down on the tactical display for troops to be aware of. That's when I look around and see a whole bunch of land raiders, rhinos and stuff that hasn't been seen since the heresy. What in feckin PNG. Communicate over private vox link for a drop pod to drop nearby it so we can recover the vehicles as well as put them to good use against the foe. As much as I'd like to let the guard have fun in a land raider, sometimes it's best to let the professionals use them. Be Sergeant Yuri. The space marines charge the chaos knight while we provide fire support from a distance. A ditter salutis nostri. I hear someone shout. Just then a group of guardsmen with their own lemon rust shows up out of nowhere and starts firing on the night. I have no idea who these guys are, if they were here the whole time or arrived with the marines but at this point, I don't care we need all the help we can get. Aim for the head. I order my men. Be Captain Crunch Ive. Or was it V? That cockboy on the big ship has started making fun of me again. Something about na 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 can't catch me. That jit is going to regret messing with Captain Crunch. Start throwing grots at the view screen in a rage until it breaks. All thrusters fall. What do you mean the nids are starting to escape? We've got them locked up on that moon, don't we? The fighting's supposed to make the boys stronger. That jit from Octarius said so. Bah. Doesn't matter anyway. Why are I reg be Colonel Farragut? Short some phospex at those felinids. Haven't heard anything shoot back, so I hope that got them. Things are starting to calm down a bit. Then some honest to Emperor Space Marines land down and start kicking demonet as a knight also appears out of nowhere but I'm sure they'll take care of it. Take this chance to run over to the sergeant seemingly in command of things. You there, sergeant. Where is your commanding officer? I have a delivery of several tanks and other equipment to make. Quickly drone through the list of things I have. Phosphex weapons. Cyclonic torpedoes. Land raiders and rhinos. Etc. 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 Lean over to a nearby space marine by the way, who are the lunar wolves. Be Sergeant Yuri. The sky has only gotten crazier. Pretty sure I see the half moon from the hive world up there but that could just be warp shenanigans. There are still helvics and archaeopters with skin wings flying around. The sunset shining through the clouds looks like a giant boob. I think the tentacles are starting to get long enough to start to grope it. Watch as the marines and new guard regiment charge the chaos knight. Scarlet gets back to picking off demonettes with her sniper. Impossible to tell how many forces are left in the fog of war. I focus on blasting away at anything really. I can't even tell what's real anymore. Um, excuse me. Good sir, would you be so kind as to sign an order form for some land raiders? For tercet snap I calmly hop down and out of my tank. Approach the man, grab his clipboard, look over the forms, then look him dead in the eye. 
drop it, pull out a broken bottle from my coat and press it to his neck. Now you listen here, and you listen good, me and imperial bureaucrats aren't exactly on the best of terms right now. I don't know if you're even real, imaginary, or some, warping between anything. If you are real I don't think you've fully grasped the situation you're in and what is going on around you. I don't give a flying fulgrim about your grok shit. I have more important things to do than sign some stupid paper in the middle of a war zone. I'm sure if you are real you're a calm and reasonable person just trying to make his way in this clusterfuck much like myself. I'm trying to make sure as many of my men make it back to Valhalla and their families as possible. So if you are indeed real, then kindly either find someone else to sign your stupid paper and get sucked into whatever shit storm it brings upon them. Or start shooting something. The Jegex and Gik. The drop pods I ordered down towards the vehicles make planet fall. Bursting out our tactical marines of the second company alongside their captain. He immediately starts ordering his men to secure the land raiders and rhinos. I am aware we are stealing from the post office but hey as mentioned. We know how to operate these things real well. That's when I notice the mark of the lunar worlds. Yeah we definitely want those now. It would be hilarious to use them against the Black Legion. Probably give old a bad and a heart attack. Be Captain Eurus Katota of the Hyena's second company. Chapter Master ordered us to secure the vehicles. The colonel of the post office asks me who the Lunar Wolves are. I am about to respond when the Valhallans commanding officer pulls out a broken bottle and starts threatening the colonel. Hey now that's something I respect. I'll tell him later who the Lunar Wolves were. For now I order my marines into the vehicles and send them out. Notice a couple of cyclone torpedoes amongst the cargo. WTF Vox these would be better used in orbit than down here. We've got nothing down here that can fire them. Mark those for the Thunderhawk transport to pick up via the tactical display. There's also Fospex weaponry. They'll go along with the torpedoes when we pick them up order the land raiders to join up with first company in fucking up the night. Howl the battle cry of the hyenas at the top of my lungs and begin to charge into the horde with my power fist and bolter. Be Colonel Farragut. The Valhallan sergeant is threatening me with a broken bottle he pulled from his coat I'm not even going to question why or how he keeps that there. And the space marines seem to be looting my delivery. Calmly call out to my men. This sergeant is in violation of Administratum Order 104845B, Section II, Subparagraph Delta, dated 396M33. If he continues to violate it terminate him with extreme prejudice, watch with pride as they quickly fan out to surround us. Address the sergeant again, you'll point out the highest ranking officer here or I will have you shot. If you continue to threaten me you will be shot. Now, I'm sure you understand that I'm not happy sitting around arguing over signing papers in a war zone either, but it's why I get paid. So you do what I say right fucking now or we both end up dead. And someone get those space marines to stop stealing the post. Be for Linnet Mer Captain Scarlet. Be sniping at the postman. Hey bitch what's your fetish? I look up and see a demon at standing over me. I then kick her. In the dick. It moans and licks its lips. CBT. My favorite. I then wrestle with her for a bit trying to get my combat knife into her. When I eventually slit its throat I notice there are now space marines looting land raiders. And rhinos. A chaos knight approaching. And a new regiment that wasn't here before. The postman is now closer than ever and Yuri is right in front of him ranting with a bottle pointed at his neck. I can't get a clear shot at the postman's head with Yuri in the way. The men with the postman then point their guns at Yuri. And the postman has the balls to tell his men to get fucking space marines to stop looting his stuff. A reaustropador something vid they make a half-hearted attempt. But the marines pointing their bolters butts a stop to that. Yuri then starts chuckling. Then giggling, then full on laughing at the top of his lungs. The turret I'm on turns to aim right at the mailman. I nimbly climb across the barrel and point my long LAS right in his face. Cutler caraflexes for Linid the noise of the laughing draws the attention of the attention of the fighting Valhallans. Linids, 
and Skaterii. All of them including a few of the marines pointing their guns, or in a few cases tanks, right at the backs of the heads of the mailman's men. Yuri leans in close to the post officer's face, the broken bottle now drawing blood from his throat. Mine's bigger than yours, he whispers. B Captain Eurus Katota. The mailman has called for his men to surround the Valhalla's leader and is trying to stop us from getting these space marine vehicles and weapons from them. Some of my tactical marines surrounds his men and bring up their bolters. Especially the ones trying to stop us from taking these vehicles back. Oh for the angel's sake. Finish up dealing with some demonettes and then move over to the scene. Decide to speak up seeing as I'm probably the only really sensible one here as my chapter master and first company are charging the night. Alright you lot. Quick bickering for Terra's sake. We've got enemy forces all around this area. Demonettes are still emerging and there's a bloody chaos night charging. Stop having a measuring contest and focus. I then glare at the postman. As for your cargo, if I was a member of the Inquisition I would have you executed for willingly transporting equipment that is marked with an icon of a traitor legion B Colonel Farragut. This bastard of a Valhallen sergeant is insane, can't really blame him, considering the surroundings, but it sure makes my life difficult he's currently got the entire armored regiment and a few of the space marines pointing their guns at me, and those for Linnids too. Damn. Must have missed with the Phosphex. I normally wouldn't mind this but that's a lot of guns no longer pointing at the enemy throne. The idiots I have to deal with sometimes. A space marine captain approaches and tries to defuse the situation. I appreciate the voice of reason, but he's currently looting my delivery and I'm not going to let him get away with that. Last I checked the space wolves weren't traitors. And you interfere with my delivery and the administratum is cutting everyone's supplies. Every last one of you. This is still Imperium property, belonging to the god emperor of mankind. And you better fucking believe we treat that seriously. Suddenly notice something in the distance. Poke my head around this idiot of a sergeant to get a better look. Is it just me? Or is that a horde of demon engines about to jump the front line? Big Captain Eurus Katota. Situation is seemingly calming down until the officer tells me that the Space Wolves are loyalists. He doesn't know who the Lunar Wolves are or the difference between their symbol and the Space Wolves. I am about to explain to him the differences when he suddenly says that demon engines are about to jump the Valhallans front lines. Immediately order my men aiming their bolters to target the demon engines direct some of the land raiders and rhinos to attack them whilst the others assist first company with the knight. Relay the situation to Jegok Sengok who starts to growl in anger over the Vox where he's not very happy with the whole thing, informs me to deal with it. On it sir. Order devastator squads to assist the vehicles and front lines in burning through the demon engines. I begin to open fire once more with my bolter and begin to walk over to the front lines rally my battle brothers back to the engagement. B Jegok Sengik, chapter master of the hyenas. Eurus Katota told me of the situation. I am not pleased but thankfully we are almost about to reach the night. Order all heavy weapons to open fire upon the night abominant. Soon see the Ard will race out from the left hand side and begin to fire its Tulus cannons into the sides of the night. Its heavy bolt are firing onto some demons around the night that would prevent us from getting into a melee engagement with it. I slash through a fiend and order Kolga Nergia to focus his psychic power to the head of the night. He manifests a giant psychic hyena that latches onto the head of the night and begins to rip into it allowing for the Ardwolf and our other vehicles to open fire into the cockpit. The Terminator squads clash against the demons with power fists and lightning claws. Kunbish keeps Colgan protected with his Crozius and Storm Bolter screaming the various litanies of battle to further bolster our men. For the Emperor B for Linid Mercenary 9 MC Fluffy. Return to the front lines after eating my ham sandwich. The sky is now full of boobs and flailing tentacles. That probably isn't a good sign. There is also a bunch of demon engines coming this way, which are also covered in boobs and flailing tentacles. And the voices in my head are getting louder and more schizo. Screw this. I am going to go have another ham sandwich. Then snort some warp dust. Then go take a nap. Be mech boy gazer. 
the captain really wants the Humi's dark and that cut moons in half. The Humi ship is holding its position so Captain Crunch came up with a brutally cunning plan. Me and a bunch of commandos snuck onto the Humi ship without them noticing. Must be too distracted by the captain and his moon. Truly the captain is cunningly brutal. Or is that brutally cunning? Shrug my shoulders as I begin sawing off the big gun the captain wants ha he. So I hear you guys are into thick big titty wafers. Well we got you covered at nickbedgear.co.uk. One stop shop for coom jar models. However we do sell a lot more than just smut models we got everything for running any fantasy settings and even some not grim dark science fiction models. In fact we even have some anime inspired models and video game. But if models is not your thing we also have some role playing adventures and dnd 5e meme subclasses. Also every video we will be giving away all our homebrew content to a subscriber of the channel. All you got to do to be in with a chance is subscribe. Today's winner is this guy. Well done. Claim your prize by contacting us via email at nickbedeercontact at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the video. The Arch Margos Explorator Prime. The Half Moon fires its thrusts. It's coming right at us. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now, fire all thrusters along the right side of my ship, moving just out of the way of the Half Moon as it barrels in the direction of the tear. The Arch Margos Explorator Prime again. While my ship is still moving to the side get report of Orc Commanders trying to cut off my main gun. Regiaf the machine binary once our ship stops moving I'll deploy a bunch of fighters to put a stop to their thievery. The mech boy Gazza. Just finished sawing off the big daka on the Humi ship. Good thing too since they just stopped moving and the hangars have started to open up those metal Humis really like their daka. Don't want to be here when they realize we've stolen their gun. Attach it to our ship and prepare to rejoin the captain. Fly behind the Humi's ship. The captain has flown the moon and the fleet into the giant spiky storm. The moon is stuck in place and weird things are happening on the surface. Several ships have disappeared in flashes of light that make my head hurt. The captain and the rest of the fleet are trying to push the moon through the storm the entire thing is starting to crack. Oh no. Be for Linnet Mer Captain Scarlet. Everyone is pointing their guns at the postman's men. I would've shot him and collected his bounty right now but Yuri is still in the way. One of the space marines tries to break up the standoff. Mentions how the postman is in possession of traitor legion vehicles. Interesting in position soon enough though some demon engines appear out of nowhere and everyone goes back to shooting them. Everyone expect my mercs and Yuri's tank. Yuri still has his bottle pressed to the postman's neck and I'm tempted to let him be the one to kill him. Wonder where Nan McFluffy is in all this. BJ Guxengik. Chapter Master of the Hyenas. Order all vehicles to fire their heaviest weapons into the knight's exposed cockpit. The psychic hyena gets dropped by Colgan who then begins to charge up a blast of psychic energy. The scan and shots from the Yard Wolf and our Predator Annihilators fire out into the cockout joined by the Lask and fire of the reclaimed land raiders. The guard forces also join in with their demolisher cannons which follow after the Lascan and shots. Just to be sure Kalgan finishes up his psychic blast and begins to roar out as he fires at a volley of concentrated Lascan and fire. Demolisher rounds and a final blast of psychic energy causes the top of the night abominance to explode. I immediately order all forces to pull back as to not get crushed by the falling night abominant. Kinda hard to run in Terminator armor but thankfully Colgan buys us some time by using telekinesis to keep a hold of the night abominant. Once everyone is safe, Colgan lets it go and the knight falls on top of a large horde of demonettes causing them to buckle and panic slightly. I then turn our vehicle's attention to the demon engines. Order all vehicles to open fire on them from behind. Get flanked motherfraggers. I then look at the horde that made it out from the fallen knight. Hyenas. Charge the enemy line. For the Emperor. For the Khan and for the Angel we begin our charge. Terminator squads opening fire with Storm Bolter and Assault Cannon. Devastator squads bringing down Heavy Bolter and Rocket Launcher action upon the vile demonettes of Slanesh. The Arch Margos Explorator Prime. 
the force of the movement dislodged the main cannon and allowed the orcs to make off with it. Rage binary recall all fighters that were engaged with the dark mechanicum. Launch all remaining void craft from our hangars. Prepare scatteri boarding parties. Report the theft to the Indomitus Crusade. I will not tolerate the sacrilege of that Archaeotech cannon in the hands of the Greenskins. I will get my cannon back at all costs. The Orc Half Moon has started to crack. That can't be good, be Colonel Farragut. Looks like everyone suddenly remembered to actually watch their 6 for the enemy most of the Valhallans on the front line are already gone but it looks like the Space Marines are handling things. Now it's just me, this sergeant, my men, and a tank with those full in it. Quickly point behind the sergeant. Watch out. Hit him in the back of the head when he turns around and catch him before he falls yell out to the space marine captain that the sergeant's been hit. Kick that bottle he was holding out of his hand. Start dragging him back to a safer spot that's coincidentally not in sight of those felinids make sure to grab those delivery papers too. Don't really care about that tank. Not like it can fire at me without killing their precious sergeant anyway. Finally get into cover and wait for him to wake up. Be Captain Eurus Katota of the Hyena's 2nd Company. Receive backup from 1st Company vehicles. Jegek boxes to me that the knight has been slain and that he and 1st Company are engaging the horde whilst sending the vehicles to assist in slaying the demon engines. I open fire with my bolter into the demon engines as Lascanon fire begins to rip and tear into the demonic machines. The postman yells at me that the Valhallan sergeant is knocked out. Not really my problem currently. The demon engine lines are being reduced however the ones in the sky may pose a problem. Thankfully Storm Raven gunships begin to dogfight the Heldrakes and Dark Mechanicus flyers. See some dreadnought drop pods begin their descent. Sweet we'll be getting some assistance from first company's two venerable dreadnoughts their pods burst and immediately I hear over the vox from them too. Even in death we still serve their twin linkless cannons fire out into the demon engines further bolstering us and destroying the abominable machines. The demon engine lines thin drastically. Soon we'll have them completely rid of. Also is that a fucking half of a moon cracking up in the sky. Be Sergeant Yuri. The postman has his men points their guns at me. Stating some BS administrative regulations. This guy still doesn't seem to understand where he is right now. Everyone backs me up, pointing their guns at this idiot. Does this guy not understand how much my men hate the admin? Unfortunately that means no one is watching our flanks and some demon engines get into our lines. Before I can process that though an idea pops into my head. This guy works for the admin. Watch out. I'm too distracted to process where the shout came from and get knocked out. When I finally come to my bottle is gone and he's put a pen in my hand trying to get me to sign his stupid papers. We're being some rubble and I don't see my tank, the Skiterii, Space Marines, or the Fulinids. I pull out a second broken from my coat and press it to his throat. Alright, I'll sign your stupid paperwork if you can tell me just one thing. Do you know the name of the person that keeps assigning us to jungle and desert death worlds? Chusia next words with exceptional Laura Holby for Linnet Merc Captain Scarlet. Still have my gun trained on the postman's head. The Chaos Knight suddenly explodes distracting me and my girls. By the time I look back the heretic male man and Yuri are gone. I let Kedor A4 just an second vid a horde of demonettes bigger than the first arrives and the marines charge into it. Decide to order my girls to provide fire support for them. We'll need to look for Yuri and the target later. Wonder how my boss is doing in this mess. Be Captain Eurus Katota. The demon engines seemingly are getting frustrated as they are fired upon. Soon enough we wipe them out allowing for the guard frontline to be free to assault the demonettes again. Our two venerable dreadnoughts turn their attention to the massive horde and begin to open fire with their storm bolters. They rip into the horde as I order all units with melee capabilities to charge. With enough time we should be able to join up first company in the melee. Vox to chapter master Jegek about the half moon up in orbit beginning to crack up and that this planet is more than likely doomed. At the very least we can stop it from becoming a demon world. 
At the very least it wouldn't be able to come back once the moon crashes down. I punch a demonette in the face with my power fist as finally we make contact with a charge. Second company is on the front whilst first company is behind the horde. We pincer the horde and begin to rip into them. Rend them apart let none survive the dreadnoughts begin to lessen the storm bowl to fire into the horde and change to firing upon the flying demon engines to assist our storm ravens. Their centuries of experience allows them to be pinpoint accurate with their Lascanons Vox over to Jegek on how we can get the guard off this world as well as any STC tech so the Mechanicus don't get angry. Be Colonel Farragut. Finally get this idiot sergeant out of the way. Now I can properly interrogate him and find someone to sign this damn delivery paper eventually he comes too. He immediately pulls out a second broken bottle and puts it to my throat. Again this is getting real annoying. He says he'll sign the paperwork if I know the guy who assigns these terminally drunk idiots dimly feel a blood vessel pop these idiots don't even know why they're here. They're not even part of a proper formation. They don't even have a commissar either. In short, they have no one commanding them and this guy is asking me who's sending them everywhere. Feel more blood vessels pop. I want your fucking commanding officer. This is an armored regiment. It should have a colonel, a major, a captain, or even a lieutenant. But the only person here is you, a fucking sergeant. And as far as I can tell you're the only damn sergeant here. Your regiment is the most disorganized dysfunctional mess I've ever set eyes on. And you are asking me who's actually in charge of where you go. Step back and take a moment to calm down the post must be delivered JPG approach the sergeant again sign the damn paper and I'll make some calls. Be Captain Crunch VII what? That cogboy moved his ship out of the way before we could hit at me. The moon and the fleet flew into that spiky storm instead. Rage JPG the moon got stuck in it. Ordered engines to full and got the fleet to push it through. It won't budge. Dar fights getting away. Get told that Gaz has stolen the Humi's Dakka. Good lad. Knew I could trust him. About to give up and turn around when the moon starts to crack it's also starting to glow. Start yelling for the wood boy. Get told his head exploded 5 minutes ago. Oh. The moon starts to crack even more. Small chunks break off the front. It starts to rotate a little on its own. See the corner of a giant eye glaring at me. Up. Uh, where did that spiky storm go? Bjegek Sengik chapter master of the hyenas. Me and my first company hack. Slash and smash our way through the horde terminator armor barely receiving any damage from their rending claws as angry roars from us get released. Soon enough the second company joins us and I receive messages from Eurus about the moon cracking up in the sky as well as questioning me on how we will be getting out of here with the Valhallans. Any STCS for the Mechanicus as well as all our stuff. He then says that the warp storm has cleared up due to the moon. Good that just leaves us with rendering down this horde which is beginning to buckle back and fall apart due to the lack of energy. Get on the Vox to the third company who are still up in orbit. Connect to Capegarslan, captain of the third company and master of recruits. Capek ready several Thunderhawk transports and try to get them down here. We are just about done with the demonettes of Slanesh. The moon is cracking up into fragments and will cause devastating damage to all gear down here. Take all the Lunar Wolf marked gear as well as our own and bring it back up. Affirmative chapter master. Deploying Thunderhawk transports now he then hangs up and I slash a fiend to pieces and hear it scream back into the warp I then bellow from the top of my many lungs. Hyenas. Valhallans. This is our moment. Wipe the demonettes and dark mechanicus out. We haven't got long until the moon makes planet fall I then impale a fiend with my relic blade and melt its face with my combi melter be sergeant Yuri. I want your fucking commanding officer. This is an armored regiment. It should have a colonel, a major, a captain, or even a lieutenant. But the only person here is you, a fucking sergeant. Yeah I know. I should have at least been promoted a long time ago given all the shit shows I've been through. I haven't seen anyone above my rank in a long time. And as far as I can tell you're the only damn sergeant here. Your regiment is the most disorganized dysfunctional mess I've ever set eyes on. Not shit Sherlock Vox. And you are asking me who's actually in charge of where you go. 
He steps back and takes a deep breath. That nap he gave me cleared my head so I understand how this looks from an outside perspective. Feel a tiny bit bad for him. He likely had to run a gauntlet of Dark Mechanicum ships just to get here only to be met with us. Sign the damn paper and I'll make some calls. I'll hold you to that. I write a name on the paper and give him my personal Vox number. With that done the warp storm seems to temporarily clear up, but I'm not sure how long that will last. Perfect chance to leave this shit hole. As far as I'm concerned Slanish can use this planet as her own personal butt plug for all I care. Get up and start looking for my tank, the rest of my men, and a way out of here. B for Linnet Mer Captain Scarlet. While providing support for the marines the sky suddenly clears up. Look up and see a moon that I'm sure wasn't there before with an angry face on it covered in glowing cracks. Fat can't bugger instinct the marines order Thunderhawks down to way back the Valhallans. Skaterii. And as while the storm is abated. Finalism a good news a little bit tell the captain my boss probably also needs transport in sector 16. See Yuri in the distance and wave him over. Be Colonel Farragut. The sergeant has finally signed my delivery papers. Won't even bother checking if it's all been stolen by the space marines yet. It's his problem now. Now I have to figure out the clusterfuck that is this regiment's administration. Sadly look up into the sky and see half a moon with a giant face at it. Pause for a moment to comprehend what I'm looking at before a drunk Van Halen bumps into me. Steal his bottle from him and start drinking it. Wander over to a land raider and contact the ship. Access the administratum database. Valhallen 545th. Searching. Searching. Take several healthy gulps from the bottle while I wait. Search finished. Error. No such unit exists. Throw the bottle against the land raider and start screaming bjegex and gik. The Thunderhawks have arrived and have begun to transport all vehicles and as many people as we can back into orbit. I see the postman screaming in anger and a broken glass bottle against a land raider will have to get the servitors to clean that. Well after it gets converted into being one of our land raiders. After all can't have the mark of a traitor legion on our vehicles. Took months to fully convert the Ardwolf from being a Night Lord's javelin attack speeder to our most prized possession. Teleport home is ready on both our first company battle barge but I want to make sure all forces get off world first. I look up to see the chunks continuing to fall. At this point all demonettes have been purged so we just need to evacuate the others I glare at the sky for a bit before I see a thunderhawk pick up the land raider that had a bottle thrown at it. Be Sergeant Yuri. Probably should have told him our regiment is the Frankenstein remains of the last survivors from Emperor only knows how many other Valhalla regiments. That's partly why any commissars assigned to us suffers an accident. 86% sure whoever assigns our deployments is actively trying to get us killed so we don't return home. Also I signed his whatever papers under the name of a commissar that tried to have me executed some years ago. If that bitch is still alive, she'll have to deal with the fallout of having her name on whatever those papers were. Serves her right. Scarlet waves to me and I wave back. Looking up it seems the moon is coming apart and has an angry face on it. So you and it sodden you with a shit thankfully the marines were nice enough to call in some thunderhawks and are currently evacuating everyone. I get in the one that has Scarlet, my tank crew, and the local Skateri I alpha in it and wait to take off. I'm done with this planet. The Indomitus Crusade is here and someone else in it can fight over this place. We've earned a rest after everything we've been through these past few days. The Arch Margos Explorator Prime. Havoc ship that stole my gun surrounded thanks to some backup from the Indomitus Crusade. Nowhere for them to run. Order the ships not to fire so they do not damage the Archaea cannon. Send a transmission to the orcs demanding they return my property. Get a message the moon now has a face and is plummeting to the planet. However the hyenas chapter are apparently evacuating everyone so they should be fine. Hopefully they picked up any STC fragments they could. Getting ready to send Skateri I boarding parties over to get my cannon back. Before Linnet Mer Captain Scarlet. Yuri sees me and walks over. 
A Thunderhawk lands nearby and crushes several dead Chaos Skaterii. Yuri's men drive up the ramp into it, their leader not far behind. I ask him about the postman and he says not to worry. Fat then our form pick I sit beside him and the Thunderhawk along with the Skaterii Alpha. No idea if we're just taking off and we'll be back once the moon chunks finish falling or if we're off for good. Regardless I could use a nice long nap yawn rest my head on Yuri's leg. Per cat while drifting off to sleep as the engines start I wonder if my boss made it out okay. B Colonel Farragut. Finally calmed down after yelling at a land raider for several minutes and scaring some space marines. It looks like everyone else is leaving which means I better get going too. Would like to shoot some of those for linids but I really can't be bothered. The post has been delivered. But I'm not giving up on finding out what's with these Valhallen bastards. Oh no. Make some calls to some buddies who actually work in the administrator. I want the rundown on these drunk idiots and I want it in full. The ship is rising into the atmosphere when I finally get a reply. Dangerous. Stay away from them. Ordo Thanatos involved. Can't say more. Weird. Guess I'll tell that poor sod of a sergeant then. About to send it over to him when I get another message administratum records redacted. I don't know who these guys are, but someone at the upper levels has made sure they're very unhealthy to be around. If you really need more there's an archive on a shrine world. So if you want to piss off vehicle shiaki, be my guest. Curiosa and curiosa. Oh well, not my problem. Send over what I found to that sergeant. I hope he'll figure something out. Now to get the hell out of here before that moon starts eating the reinforcements fleet or something be Captain Eurus Katota. Have been ordering my men to help Valhallans and Mechanicus get their gear and men off planet. A Thunderhawk comes down and takes in a bunch of people. We've practically wrapped up everything with first company braving into the forges to get as much STC tech as possible for the Mechanicus. I hop on board one of the Thunderhawks that has a felined. Some Valhallans and some Admech forces on board. Thankfully there's a lot of room so I take a seat towards the door to the cockout. Vox to chapter master that second company is officially pulling out as we've secured everything here in affirmative from Jegek and he cuts the feed. I then turn to the others on board and speak up. We'll be heading to the second company battle barge known as the Prowler. You should be able to return to your designated vessels if you aren't part of the Valhallans. If you are Valhallans we will be taking you back to Valhalla seeing as some of you look like you've been through hell hope this news is pleasing to them. After all it is a rare treat for guardsmen to return to their home worlds. Bjegek Sengik. Currently braving the depths of a forge to recover STC tech. Eurus voxed me that everything has been secured and that the moon chunks will soon crash into the planet. Tell him it's fine and that everyone in first company not in terminator plate has left along with them. Cut the feed and secure as many STCS as possible. Have to fend off some chaos skaterii but we've got enough experience to the point where they aren't a problem. Get a bunch of hard drives with STCS on them and secure them into boxes. Hand them out to all my brothers and we then activate the homing beacons teleporting to the first company battle barge known as the Scar of Pride with boxes secured I order the captain to relay a message to the Ark Mechanicus that we've gathered as much STCS as we can and will be sending them over shortly. Be Captain Crunch V. Or was it I've? The moon has started laughing while falling into the planet. No, I like the good fight but I'm not fighting that. Turn what's left of the fleet around and get ready to leave. Looks like the Humies are leaving too. Ah well, we can fight another day. Been a fun one. Suddenly get a message from Gaza that the Humies want their gun back oh I. That's my daka you stupid Humies. Guess we'll be having a right proper fight after all. All ships. We're grabbing that daka. Wah